The Little Prince Part 2 In this part I will explain the story So let's start it Read this excerpt from the book The Little Prince by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry It introduces us to the narrator a pilot whose plane crashes in a desert find out what happened when he unexpectedly meets a strange person who makes an odd request to him so yes students we will see this story where the narrator narrator is a pilot and his plane crashes in the sahara desert and how he meets an odd person and strange person and he asked an odd request to him once when i was 6 years old i saw a magnificent picture in a book called true stories from nature about the preamble forest it was a picture of a boa constrictor in the act of swallowing an animal here is a copy of the drawing so narrator tells us when he was 6 years old he saw a picture in one kind of book about earlier forest and there was a picture of boa constrictor boa constrictor is here one kind of snake and it was swallowing an animal whole animal in the book it said boa constrictors swallow their prey whole without chewing it after that they are not able to move and they sleep through the 6 months that they need for digestion so it is a fact every day you listen the fact of the day the fact of the day in this book it was written that boa constrictor eat up it's up whole prey whole animal in his body and for 6 months he cannot move and he just sleep to digest the food come to the next page I pondered deeply then over the adventures of the jungle and after some work with a colored pencil I succeeded in making my first drawing my drawing number 1 it looks something like this so then the narrator drew a drawing by his imagination he thought he thought something he he thought carefully about boa constrictor and you can see this picture a snake is having a huge stomach i showed my masterpiece to the grown ups and asked them whether the drawing frightened them so he showed this drawing to the elders and i asked them that are they scared of this drawing but they answered frightened why should anyone be frightened by a hat my drawing was not a picture of a hat it was a picture of a boa constrictor digesting an elephant so yes students he drew a picture of boa constrictor who is digesting an elephant and everybody thought that this is a picture of a hat you also thought that this is the picture of a hat but since the grown ups were not able to understand it i made another drawing i drew the inside of a boa constrictor so that the grown ups could see it clearly they always need to have things explained my drawing number 2 look like this see the drawing second drawing here you can see the elephant 
inside the boa constrictor first drawing elephant was not visible in second picture he drew an elephant is visible here so that the grown ups can easily understand what the drawing is about the grown ups response this time was to advise me to lay aside my drawing of boa constrictors whether from the inside or the outside and devote myself instead to geography history arithmetic and grammar so the parents the elders advise him to to keep all the drawings aside and pay attention to the other subject that is why at the age of 6 i gave up what might have been a magnificent career as a painter so he gave up his drawing work at the age of 6 I had been disheartened by the failure of my drawing number 1 and my drawing number 2 grown ups never understand anything by themselves and it is tiresome for children to be always and forever explaining things to them so the child is complaining about the elders that elders never understand easily they need explanation of everything so that he was very sad about his drawing number 1 drawing number 2 so then i chose another profession and learned to pilot aeroplanes i have flown a little over all parts of the world and it is true that geography has been very useful to me at a glance i can distinguish china from arizona if one gets lost in the night such knowledge is valuable so then the narrator became a pilot and he flew his aeroplane all over the parts of the world and the knowledge of geography geography was very useful to him and he could identify the difference between two places suppose china from arizona arizona is the place in usa so it was very useful valuable for him in the course of this life i have had a great many encounters with a great many people who have been concerned with matters of consequence I have lived a great deal among grown-ups. I have seen them intimately close at hand and that hasn't much improved my opinion of them. So this narrator has met many intelligent people in his life and he is not happy with this intelligent people. the reasons are given ahead we will see why whenever i met one of them who seemed to me at all clear sighted i tried the experiment of showing him my drawing number 1 which i have always kept so narrator used to keep his drawing number 1 with him to ask each each and everybody about drawing number 1 whether they understand the drawing or not I would try to find out so if this was a person of true understanding so he wanted to check the knowledge of the person check the understanding of the person by asking him his drawing number 1 but whoever it was he or she would always say that is a hat so nobody understood his drawing then i would never talk to that person about boa constrictors so he never talked about boa constrictor to any of his friends or or preamble forest or stars so he never talk about he never talks about his imagination imaginative ideas 
and he just is just to talk about general topics like i would bring myself down to his level so he he used to talk a gen- about general topics i would talk to him about bridge and golf and politics and neck ties and the grown up would be greatly pleased to have met such a sensible man so whenever he used to talk about this game of card bridge means the game of cards golf politics neck ties this about general topics everybody thinks the narrator is an intelligent man and everybody is happy so i lived my life alone without 